Now, in a small piece of history, Jenny Spencer-Smith of the National Army Museum presents a favourite object from the collection. With this painting, self-portrait by the artist Rex Whistler, which was painted in 1940, I've always been very interested in artists' self-portraits, and I think that this one is particularly interesting. It is at once actually an intimate portrait, but at the same time the artist has quite a guarded expression. And you see him seated on a balcony at somebody's flat in Regent's Park in London, and he's actually painted himself the day that his uniform arrived. So it's at once with a sense of pride in his new uniform, he was commissioned into the Welsh Guards. And also I think he's recording the moment at which he ceased to be a civilian and he knows that the future for him could be uncertain. He had enjoyed a successful career as an artist, particularly as a muralist, painting very famously the um, restaurant at the Tate Gallery and also as a theatre and ballet set designer and a book illustrator. At this time, he was aged 35. He was rather too old, in fact, to join the army, but he persuaded the regiment to take him. In fact, he believed very strongly that it's, it was the men of his age who should go and fight, rather than young men, younger men, who would be killed before they had a chance to live their life. As a tank commander, Rex um, was part of the Guards Armour Division who crossed to Normandy following the D-Day invasions. Tragically, he was killed on his first day in action. So popular was he at home that the Times received more letters about his death in action than about any other individual during the Second World War.